As much as vegans care about animals and being cruelty free, it makes me wonder why so many of them have dogs. Doesn't owning an animal go against the idea of being a vegan? Shouldn't all animals be wild and let free to roam? That would only make sense, but vegans don't care about that because at heart, vegans are simply cute, cuddly animal lovers that will justify anything they feel like doing. Vegans don't care about the insects, they disregard pasture-raised, grass-fed animals, and make lies about the environment. The only real explanation here is that they see something cute that goes oink oink and can't bear the thought of eating that animal. Being a vegan and having a dog is one thing and not really a big deal. However, a large number of vegans insist on a vegan diet being adequate for dogs, which is completely crazy. If you want to appeal to authority, to someone who's getting paid to sell grain and soy crap to your pets, then by all means, say that. There is an interesting parallel with the humans here, except it's a bit more believable that dogs are supposed to be carnivores as opposed to humans being carnivores, despite there being ample evidence that both humans and dogs share their special bond because of their hunting skills and presence of meat in the diet. Feeding a dog a high amount of starch puts a burden on the pancreas to produce starch digesting enzymes that dogs haven't really evolved to do in large capacities. But dogs are not capable of producing various plant digesting enzymes that herbivores can, nor are they efficient at utilizing plant foods for protein. Not only that, Plant food sits in dogs' intestines, irritates the bowels, causing inflammation, and feeds bad bacteria. People who choose to make dogs vegan for their own moral benefit at the expense of their dog's health are showing the true colors of veganism. It's about what works for them at any point in time. Maybe they should have gotten a rabbit for a pet. The whole idea that dogs can be vegan is purely an assumption. There is no proof that dogs are omnivores and the only supported evidence we have about a dog's primitive diet is that they were carnivores as they are the direct descendants from wolves. Dogs have always consumed a diet of meat and it is only now in our modern world we are changing our ideas of their diet, just like we do with our own diets. Dogs cannot live a happy and healthy life without meat. Let's take a look at one of these vegans and what he has to say about feeding his dog a vegan diet. He is also um, a vegan dog like Indy, V-Dog. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about V-Dog, also about Indy, because I think it's important. A lot of people think that dogs are carnivores, which is not true. Dogs are true omnivores and they've been domesticated for the past 11,000 years so they are a little bit different than their cousins the wolves and stuff so they do very well on a proper plant-based diet they actually thrive on a plant-based diet and a lot of the science proves that he goes to a team of five vets which India has gone to for the last eight years now and uh, they agree that he's on the best diet that he can be on he you know he's doing great on V dog and I can't say enough good things about it because uh, the truth is is Indy who's not with me right now let me put in some b-roll of Indy Indy had parvo when I got him as a, a puppy and I ended up paying a lot of money to save him he had to go to intensive care overnight for like a week and they had to watch him very closely because parvo is a very life-threatening virus for dogs and once they come down with symptoms it's usually too late and I didn't know anything about this so um, I brought Indy there and I said it doesn't seem right something doesn't seem right and they said oh he's got parvo he tested positive for parvo and what parvo does is it destroys their um, internal organs and their digestive system and that's what it did so he didn't he wasn't able to, to digest his food after that for a very long time 
not trying to get too graphic here, but it was like diarrhea for the next year. And I had him on all kinds of medicine that they prescribed. I had him on um, premium dog foods, um, vet prescribed foods, and nothing seemed to work. And when Indy turned one year old, I decided to go against the wishes of the doctors where he was on uh, vet prescribed formulas and stuff like that. And I took him off his medicine and I put him on a vegan formula. I think it was nature's recipe. And he immediately got better within a week. Um, he was finally able to digest his food and I thought this was great. And then I moved him over to another uh, more premium dog food and he was doing great still but I noticed that he had he had a pretty bad rash that he always had and he would always bite at it and it was like under in his belly under belly near his groin and stuff and it was all red all the time and he'd always be uh, chewing at it so I finally switched him over to V-Dog which is a premium dog food it is a hypoallergenic vegan dog formula and the rash went away and that was oh i don't know maybe five or six years ago and he's been doing super super good ever since so he's very healthy uh, he's eight and a half now he's about 115 pounds very smart very playful and now zeke or stark over here is also on it and he loves it he'll he'll eat his food like i said he'll eat his food in about two or three seconds more like seven seconds but yeah he eats it very very fast so hopefully we can get something to slow him down there but um yeah he seems to really like the food he's doing well no digestive problems hey come on over here come on over come on we're talking about you so highly recommend v dog formula i do have a promo code for there and um just to be transparent here, I know a lot of people, this is important to, to people, but um, I'm genuine when I say that this really works. Um, I'm not getting paid for saying this, but Zombie Dog is a promo code you can use as a first time customer. You will save, I don't know, 10, 15% on your order. Uh, they also have dog treats, which I did bring with me. I brought some dog treats for Zeke to try um, to train him a little bit out here beautiful day out here so if you guys have any questions you know let me know in the comments below also you can go to their website they have all kinds of uh, articles and different vets you can talk to there or links for that at least let me get this straight he's not getting paid for saying this but he has a promo code that is one hell of a lie this lunatic literally said that dogs can thrive on a plant-based diet and the veterinarians agree with him yeah no shit, because your dogs are getting sick as hell and you're paying the veterinarian's car payments on their new Mercedes. He made his dog sick, put it on antibiotics, and is apparently sponsored by this V-Dog company. The ingredients in this dog chow are almost reminiscent of the crap we feed to conventionally raised animals that makes them sick. So a vegan feeding this to... A dog and then saying factory farming is bad doesn't really make much sense not to mention there's literally dozens and dozens and dozens of laboratory ingredients compounds in this food it's not what we should be consuming no one should consume something that contains dozens and dozens and dozens of ingredients that we don't know the long-term effects of them half of these things are chemicals and the other half are produced in a laboratory and what's even worse is if you go to the testimonial section of this website, there's more lunatic vegans justifying that their dogs are happy and healthy. Yet these dogs don't look too happy in their pictures. And I know a lot of, I get a lot of hate comments here too. A lot of people say, why would you, you know, I know you're vegan, that's one thing, but why would you force your dog to be on a vegan diet? Well, I guess really, eh, if you look at it that way, everybody's forcing their dog to be on whatever diet they put them on. And I would rather him be on the healthiest diet he can be on than some of the crap that they sell at the store. Um, you'd be surprised at the kind of meat that they put in. It's like second meat, yeah, roadkill. I know that some, some of the meat and some of the products has uh, euthanized meat in there. Um, and then they put it up to high temperatures, but then it destroys all the nutrients and stuff. So you're better off going with like, you know, a very fresh, organic, whole food, 
uh, making your own or finding something like V-Dog to give to your dog. Hold on a second. Did this guy not look at the ingredient list of the V-Dog crap he's feeding to his dog? It doesn't get worse than laboratory chemicals and vegetable oils. So how can you say that modern dog feed or what they add to it is any worse than what you're feeding your dog? How about this one? Let your dog choose, just like you should let your children choose what to eat. Put a piece of meat in front of the dog and then put a vegetable or a fruit or your crappy V-dog chow and see which one they eat. Don't make the choice for them. Let nature, let the animal's natural instinct dictate what food they want to eat. Do not put words in your dog's mouth. Do not say how their diet is making them so healthy and happy because you don't know what your dog is thinking. You don't speak dog, although I'm sure if you could speak dog, you would put some dog ears on and a fursuit and go act cute with all the dogs because vegans are really just, you know, I, I say it over and over again. They just like cute animals. It thought nothing, none of this makes sense. They're okay with grinding up hundreds of rodents, killing trillions of insects with herbicides and pesticides. They don't care about their environmental implications. They drive a car around and then say how good their diet is for the environment. It's complete wacky daiquiri. And I mean, I've had enough of it today, to be honest, after going through these videos. So thank you guys for joining me. If you would like to support the channel, just check out some of my other videos. Of course, please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon and share it if you can. I've recently launched Frankie's Naturals and Frankie's Free Range Meat. So if you want to look good on the inside and out and feel like you are cast out of bronze or chiseled out of marble, go to frankiesnaturals.com to see my hygiene and cosmetic products like fluoride-free tooth powder, aluminum-free deodorant, moisturizing cream, aka ball grease. And at frankiesfreerangemeat.com, we are offering high-quality, antibiotic-free, grass-fed, pasture-raised, natural animal products, caviar, raw cheeses, all at an affordable price. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend.